Hello, I'm Andy Hunting and today I'm here to talk to you about Greenfleet. Greenfleet training can often be focused around just the racing skills of sailing. However, it's very important to carry through those ideas of fun, activities and games that many of the students learnt in their TACAS programs. The idea of Greenfleet is to polish these skills that they used and to use them in a way that they can be carried forth into racing. So this being said, throughout the next few videos, I'm going to show you how to use these racing skills through the form of games. And then as the students develop, they're going to become better racers in the long run. For the first game, it is one that I've found can be very useful for teaching kiting downwind. For many tackers, when they're going downwind, it can be a frightening experience to lean their boats over on top of them. Through the use of the boom bopper game, we connect a piece of rope from the end of the boom at the clue and, and attach a small float on the end. By doing this, it gives a judgement and a length for the tucker to work out how far they should be tilting their boat over. Normally, you want to make sure that you attach this piece of string before the tucker leaves the beach because then you can tilt the boat over and make sure the length is correct. In doing so, as the tacker is kiting their way downwind, hopefully holding on to the centre board, they can judge and see on the outside just how far off the water the float is. This gets them pushing themselves further and further and further out and builds up the confidence for sailing downwind with windward heel. It's a great activity to use in some wind and also some waves. You need to make sure you encourage the students to tip over. This shows them where their balance is and how far they can actually go. It's a great activity to use in moderate to heavy winds with skill levels of medium to advanced. As an instructor, it's very, very important that you have briefed the sailors before they go sailing for this activity. They need to understand what they're trying to get out of it and also how far they're trying to push their limits. It's also your job to be very prepared going into this activity. Make sure that you have the correct equipment to be able to carry out the activity as they're going downwind. Some good ideas to use as floats are, is a balloon filled with a handful of sand. This is just enough for the balloon to skim over the surface of the water as they kite their way downwind. It also helps if you can use something fluoro because this helps the sailors being able to see each other's floats and work out for themselves where they should be hiking out to. Once they are out in the water, it's your responsibility as the instructor to be watching them and encouraging them. Quite often, when the boat is heeled over to windward, they may not be able to see the balloon skimming across the surface. So make sure you're behind them in the rescue boat, encouraging them to push further and further and further until they're just on the edge of capsizing.